recommend the burger of the day, the If Looks Could Kale burger. <laughs> you, you get it? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, you're not laughing. I don't think you got it. Looks Could Kale. Yeah, I, I got it. <sighs> I'll have a cheeseburger. Coming right up. This is the journey of Looks Could Kale burger. We wouldn't be making a real Bob's Burger if we didn't get fresh kale. And, and I'm sitting here um, really just debating on different things. Definitely want y'all to see this selection. It's like we sat here and kind of just thought over it and it is really not a good selection. I guess it's a shortage. but. We're gonna go with the best one we can find. And yeah, which one do you think the best one we can find is? What does Bob cook with Angus burgers? Or just Bob ground beef? Ground beef. I feel like Bob would get, first of all, Bob makes his own. He does truck. Bob definitely does truck. And that's one thing that maybe the viewers can help us out with. What does Bob as far as the ground beef consists of. And I should know it's on the meat that's left out. All right, so we have our whole wheat buns. Her Take everything that the recipe calls of. Kale burger. That's the name of it, right? Yep, it looks good kale. It looks good kale. So we're cleaning the kale because you always want to clean your greens. Always, always. Uh, I use vinegar and water. And I can't tell you a measurement because I eyeball it every time. Right on, right on, right on. So now that they're clean. I'm gonna go ahead and tear them into their roasting size and let them dry out a little bit. This is for the roasting size and drying out. This is our second video as well, y'all. The first video we'll plug in after this. This is our first YouTube video, second Bob Burger video. So the orzo is made in Chicken stock. Shout out to my hoe, we pulled up, aren't we? Yeah, we sitting here, ready to, what, roast garlic? So we're gonna mince up some garlic. This is the controversy of this video, for real. So this recipe lists uh, four cloves, minced garlic, and uh, red wine vinegar. Doesn't actually say what to do with it. So a lot of people have gotten together online, um, we've reviewed even the original chef's blog when he created this recipe and the best anybody can guess is that the minced garlic goes with the roasted kale and the red barn vinegar is used to dress the orzo salad. So that's what we're going to go with here. So this is going to go in with the kale that's going to roast at 300. Nice. So this is going in with the kale, y'all. <laughs> And this is the orzo. Yep. Can I explain what you got going on here right now? So here I have the kale, and I only have some of it because my bowl is only but so big. And this is five cloves of minced garlic. The recipe calls for four. I always add an extra clove. That's just how I roll. Take that in here. 
I'm gonna toss it with a little bit of this light tasting olive oil. And this is a part of the recipe too? Yep. And then this is gonna go in the oven at 300. It's gonna go in for about 20 minutes and then you just kind of rotate it halfway, check on it. Um, now, this is one of those things that'll take forever to get up to the crisping stage and then it'll go to burnt, so you do have to watch it the last couple minutes. So you will definitely be careful when you're baking your kale. I knew it was. This is gonna go in the oven now. Good, bro. We'll just probably use this as just a clip. Oh, we need that as a clip. You got perfect fingers. Look at that. So this is just some roasted garlic. Um, I mean, it's not really for the recipe. We just had an extra head of garlic, and I like roasted garlic. Um, I'm thinking of just um, mixing it with a little bit of mayo, a little pepper. Make a quick aioli. Orzo is finished. So tell me what's going on here. So here we are finishing off the orzo. Um, this is diced tomato, which I've already started adding before I thought to get the camera. And then this is just me doing a rough chop on some rosemary. Shout out to the hungry rosemary. Look at every, every solid person do a person day. Rosemary. Even <laughs> <laughs> sure. Time for the controversy. Um, here we have our orzo salad. I've mixed in the diced tomatoes and the rosemary, and now we're gonna add the red wine vinegar, which, hold on, cut, let me go check. Okay, so, consulted the recipe. We're adding two tablespoons. Um, I hope this is how it was. adding two tablespoons though? The red wine vinegar, one of the most controversial ingredients. Um, you know, I hope this is how he intended to use it, but it's not very clear either way. And I'm eyeballing it. I feel like that's about two tablespoons right there. Thank you, Bobby. So what did Bob call for on these burgers? So these burgers are very simple. I guess they want the flavor of the beef to shine through. So it is just beef. I am toying with the idea of making some seasoned just because it goes against all my instincts to not season my meat. But we're going to trust Bob. So just a little salt and pepper on the outside right before we put it on the hot um, skillet. Pepper right before putting in the pan. And then we're gonna salt and pepper again right before we cook it. The old wisdom says that you don't wanna salt your meat until right before you put it on the grill because it's gonna draw all your moisture out. Um, salt and pepper burgers. Yeah. I 
feel like salt in the meat at the last minute is what helps it develop that good crust to it. Our patties are cooked, so I'm going to put some cheese on top. So we got a good block. You saw that good block of Gruyere. We don't actually have a cheese grater right now. No cheese grater. So to kind of slice it up the best I could. The point is that it's going to melt. Let me get it actually on the burger. Not just in the pan. Filming it? Don't, because I might burn myself. Okay. Okay. Bobby, you're up next. Wonderful. Hey, season the front row, please. Another successful meal of Arenata. It looks cocktail burger with orzo. We had to rewind this back. If the looks can kill burger. Shoot, 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 shoot. Howie. What is that episode?